welcome to the Herald News Show. Uh, this is the show that shows what happens at the RC3. We Heralds ask ourselves, how can we translate what we do to a virtual event? And this regular news show is one part of the answer to this question. We want to help you with this show to see more, to explore more, to find out what else ha happens at this Congress, because uh, certainly roaming the Assembly Hall isn't a possibility this year, but uh, some way needs to be found uh, how to explore this lovely event, and uh, this show could be part of the answer, at least that's what we attempt. But you need to help us, we actually need your help for this. Uh, we need you to submit information. And um, you can be a reporter for this. We need a reporters. We need many reporters who tell us what else is going on, what has your hackerspace, your chaos studio, your assembly built. And if you do so, then we can include this in uh, this show and uh, tell the rest of the visitors and uh, guests and participants of this uh, lovely event what else uh, they can explore and uh, check out. Next up on our main stages, on the RC2 stage, we have the German science fiction author uh, Theresa Hanick, and uh, she'll read in German, and uh, so I'll uh, announce this in German as well. Uh, Theresa Hanick hat das Science-Fiction-Buch Die Optimierer geschrieben und uh, danach uh, das Buch Die Unvollkommenen. Sie ist mit uh, Preisen ausgezeichnet worden für diese großartigen Bücher und sie wird aus dem uh, aktuellsten Buch Die Unvollkommenen lesen und danach auch etwas erzählen über ihr neues Projekt Pantopia. Wir sind sehr gespannt und äh, das Beste an der ganzen Sache ist, sie hat auch Zeit mitgebracht, um mit euch zu diskutieren und eure Fragen äh, zu beantworten. Also jetzt gleich 21.20 Uhr auf der Bühne RC2, Theresa Hannig, Fireside Chat. On the stage RC1, we'll see a show from <coughs> two anonymous people where I have no clue what their actual names are and neither will you at the end of the event. The title of this event is The Yes Man from Tricksters in an Age of Dirty Tricks. So I'm uh, curious uh, to see what this surprise show is all about and uh, no one knows anything, not even me. Afterwards, on the same stage, we'll have an event in German. We'll have uh, Marc-Uwe Kling. Und Marc-Uwe Kling wird um uh, 22.30 Uhr auf der Bühne RC1 aus uh, Quality Land 2.0 lesen. Letztes Jahr hat mir die uh, Lesung Quality Land unglaublich viel Spaß gemacht. Ich glaube, das wird dieses Jahr auch so. Also schaltet ein, um 22.30 Uhr RC1 geht es weiter mit Marc-Uwe Kling. Don't forget the content from all the community stages and uh, chaos studios. You can find information about them if you go to rc3.world and then click on platform and then follow the link to community content. We'll have a tremendous amount of stages and volunteers and people who provide content, who give talks, who stream stuff. Check out the schedule and uh, check out what they do. I think it's cool that we have so many assembly stages even in a virtual event. And now a bit of history, actually. One very important uh, drink, one very important uh, culture item in our community is the drink called Chunk. But where does it come from and who invented it? And what does the sea base has to do with it? Back then, at the time when the excavation or, and reconstruction work of the sea base space station under Berlin had, had just started, uh, at that time it happened that next to sea base there was a club and one of those legal, illegal, scheißegal Berlin underground uh, clubs and it was uh, called Club Forschung. Uh, it, it was written Club Forschung, like cl club research, but it was uh, pronounced Club Forschung. And that already gives you a hint where this was invented, right next to the first uh, location of Seabase uh, in this illegal underground club that allegedly had a door that was only 1 meter 60 high. There was a guy behind the bar who everybody called only Marte Ralf. And Marte Ralf was uh, special and he was called Marte Ralf because he made the cocktails behind his bar with Marte, like all of them. And at one fine day, he invented the chunk by replacing a part of the ice, not the alcohol, only the ice, in the Caipirinha with the Club Mate. Uh, and basically that's all uh, how this, yeah. And basically that's how the chunk was invented. Personally, I prefer my chunk with Flora Power Mate, but uh, I take what I get. And unfortunately, I'm very bad prepared in my home RC3 Herald studio here. I don't have any ingredients for uh, chunk. So if you can help me out, I'm in the uh, postal area of 31737 in Rinteln. And if you have uh, some chunk ingredients, uh, give me a ping. Let me know. Maybe we can uh, make an exchange. That would be lovely. 
tomorrow at least uh, some stores will open again so uh, we'll uh, switch over to Semi. He will present you with the latest of uh, current chunk recipes and uh, I recommend you to take some notes, write it down so you have a shopping list if you go shopping tomorrow or the day after because I think you should enjoy Congress with chunk. So now over to Semi, and he'll show you the recipe how to make uh, the best chunk in the world. Hello and welcome to the space bar. Tonight we are going to mix one of Congress' all-time favorite mate cocktails, chunk. For this drink you need mate, rum, limes and brown sugar. Cut up those limes, mix them with the sugar and add crushed ice. Then put in about 4 centiliters of rum and fill up with mate. Cheers!